Where be the bards that boast of valor when plate gives way to wounds? When heroes fall, their curtains called, a tragic tale will do. Welcome to the Wintry Wyvern, let's talk about the Bardic College of Tragedy. Found in the Tadori Reborn sourcebook by Darrington Press, it speaks of the very real fate of many adventurers, the fall from grace, the twisted fates of the crestfallen and misfortuned. The tragic bard turns loss into luck, channeling the foreboding tales of warnings unheeded, to press forward dangerously, recklessly into the great unknown, to embrace both the glory of triumph and the honors of martyrdom. I'll let the first feature speak for itself. At third level, we have poetry in misery. Whenever you or an ally within 30 feet of you rolls a natural one on a d20, you can spend your reaction to regain a spent bardic inspiration die, etching your own silver linings into tragic happenstance. With a 5% chance to gain another bardic die on every roll your party makes, there's good reason to be a bit more generous with your dice than most bards. Poetry and Misery is a win-win scenario. Rolling that ones gives a bit of compensation, and not rolling ones is a prize on its own. This is the first of many features that tempts you with risk and reward. Do you save your bardic dice for exactly when you need it, or spend them more freely and bank on low rolls in the near future? Bardic dice recovering on a short rest at level 5 takes the edge off of overspending, so inspire responsibly. I'm fully expecting some players to pester their DM for more throwaway skill rolls and hopes for more nat 1s, but they'll quickly realize you should never willingly ask for more nat 1s. Sorrowful fate makes sure there's enough misfortune to go around. Once per short or long rest, you can transform any one saving throw rolled by an enemy into a charisma save, which is a notorious weak spot on most monsters for the majority of your adventuring career. Until about CR 13, when you start fighting more extra planers, changing a saving throw to a charisma save is often as good as inflicting disadvantage on the roll, which is fantastic for loosening up those well-resisted constitution and wisdom saves. The second half of this feature is mostly flavor, but very fun. You deal a little bit of bonus damage, and if the target drops to zero hit points within the minute, they have to soliloquize their mournful last words. What kind of speech would burst forth from a dying gelatinous cube? Only one way to find out. Pride Cometh Before the Fall is the major theme of this level 6 feature, Tale of Hubris. Whenever an enemy crits on an attack against you or an ally, you can use your reaction and a bardic die to divine their demise. For the next minute, attack rolls with an 18 or 19 on the die also count as a critical hit against that creature. The effect passes once the prophesied crit arrives. This is another way to spend your reaction that perfectly mirrors the reaction you got at level 3. You can spend dice on enemy nat 20s and gain dice on allied nat 1s, forging a bit of a karmic cycle. A 15% chance to crit is just about 1 in 7 odds, which could very well happen within the round if not the next few turns. At level 14, the range widens down to 17, giving your party a 20% chance to land a crit on their following attacks. Your rogue or paladin friend will absolutely love you for it. Impending Misfortune is the second to sixth level feature. You can boost one of your attack rolls or saving throws by plus 10, akin to the War Cleric's Guided Strike. Alas, a boon from Lady Luck comes at a cost. Your next attack roll or saving throw has a minus 10 penalty, and this bane stays with you until you find rest. Now, unless you're a martial multiclass, you'll want to save this feature for those crucial saving throws that could otherwise knock you out of combat. Curiously, this is the only feature I know that recharges when you drop the zero hit points, which is still very on brand. The wording is a bit interesting though, because as written, you can absolutely use this on your death saving throws. And why wouldn't you? A plus 10 is a guaranteed success, and may very well save your life. However, should you ever find yourself knocked out a second time, your impending misfortune will certainly find you. Finally, the climax of every tragic hero's tale is found at level 14, Nimbus of Pathos. Summoning a full choir and orchestra from the afterlife to sing a song of glory, you empower yourself or your ally with boons and banes, beckoning the harbinger of death. The newly made legend has plus 4 to AC, advantage on all attack rolls and saving throws, and plus 1 d10 radiant damage to all attacks. Unfortunately, this is the tragedy bard, and everything has a cost. 18s, 19s, and of course natural 20s against your chosen hero count as critical hits. That plus 4 AC will help against most attacks, but about 1 in 7 will strike painfully true. Additionally, after one minute, the Blessed One immediately drops to zero hit points in an unstable state. Surely your cleric's death ward or healing word can save them, but a hero of this might often draws the most attention, and more than likely the most ire. This feature is a proper capstone. Not only does it feel powerful, because it is, it's also crafted in such a way that the stories will write themselves. 
a proud warrior accepting their martyrdom, a cleric duty-bound to survive at any and all costs. And of course, why can't the hero be you? A bard sworn to speak the stories of others. Perhaps it's time for your tale to be spoken to truth. Taldori Reborn is out now, should you choose to buy it. May your tales always be tragic, your misfortunes always miserable, and above all, stay frosty. <laughs>